messing up outros too. I ran out of breath. <laughs>
I just told you she was rude to me and you gonna talk to her. So then the cashier lady's like, Hey, Charles, good to see you too. I ain't seen you since high school. I'm like, what? Are you serious? So then I'm like, okay. Well, can she, can can I get this stuff now? And so she's like, Oh, sure, baby, you can get it. It's okay, it's okay. Your mama here now, so it's okay. I'm like, well, didn't I just tell you that? I just told you my mom was right there. My mom was literally like two seconds behind me, and we were going to come and pay for the things. But you was so rude. But later do I find out that that is the same person who did I forgot what my mom said she did to her in high school or whatever the case was but so it was whatever after that so then we get out the thing we get out the thing and I put the things in the car and I'm like mom before we go can I go to the bathroom because you know we can't go to the bathroom out there because there's no bathrooms and nobody wants to use porta potties so no get out of here so we go and she's sitting okay so she pulls the car up in front of the walmart door so that when i come out everything's okay i can get in the car we can go right so here's what this cop decides to do this cop believe it or not this dude decides that he wants to clip something onto my shirt he clips on and i, I never told my mom I, I don't even think i told anybody about this story but he clips something onto my shirt and that makes the thing go off. So the thing goes off and I'm just like, okay, I didn't pick up anything. You can check the cameras. I didn't do anything. So there he goes, oh, well, there's something on your shirt. I'm like, okay, my bad. Here you go. And I walk out the door and I'm just like, y'all just trying to hinder me from going fishing. Like, I feel like you guys know I'm trying to go fishing and y'all just don't want me to go fishing for whatever reason. So we end up getting to the pier finally. We unload the stuff, bait the hooks, do all of that stuff, and we throw it out there. So I threw it out there, and right when I threw it out there, something grabbed onto it, I reeled it in, and here comes a bird comes swooping in, and it just whoosh. And so I'm just like, heck no. I done spent all my time trying to get to this thing only for you to try and take my fish. So me being the bold 15 year old that I so thought I was, I'm reeling the bird in too. So I'm reeling the bird in and the bird lets go and comes at me. And I'm just like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I take off running, I'm gone. I'm just like. So I'm gone, right? And the bird is chasing after me. So I'm just like, okay. So I get in the car, lock the car and I'm good. So I'm sitting here like, Ooh. oh, the bird is sitting there staring at me. I'm like, okay. Mom, you didn't hear, you didn't just hear me screaming. No, she heard me screaming. She's laughing, like laughing, like dying laughing, like almost falling into the water laughing. You feel me? So I'm just like, okay, if that's how you feel, then I'm just going to stay in the car. I didn't have the keys. So I'm sitting in the car hot. It is 70 skillion degrees in Florida and it's hot. Okay. So I don't have time to be sitting here wiping beads of sweat off of my dog on forehead because you decide that you don't want to give me the keys because you laughing too hard because I'm sitting here getting chased by a bird. So I'm crying and in sweat. So I, 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 I'm just, my forehead, my face just gone. I'm just sweating and crying and snotting. So none of that helped each other. So I get out the car, fast forward, I get in the car. I mean, I get out the car and I think everything's okay. So I'm going and I'm still fishing and I'm reeling it. I caught about like three fish before another thing came. So then not only did this one go, but the other bird came as well. So I'm just like, okay, y'all just out to get me now. It's like, I'm just trying to enjoy my Saturday. So one bird came running from this way. Another bird came running from this way and I'm screaming, so they start screaming. So they're screaming and hollering, I'm screaming and hollering, which causes more birds to come. So I then decide that the water is safer than being attacked by these birds. So I kind of jump forward a little bit, thinking I was gonna land safely in the water and then everything be okay. But no, my pants got stuck. So I'm sitting here hanging by the thing. So then I'm grabbing rocks, throwing the rocks, doing all of this, and I'm just like, okay, help me somebody and everybody's laughing at me so i finally get myself back up and i'm getting you know i it was a good thing that i went to the bathroom before we left because then i would have went to the bathroom then but everything turned out to be okay 
and I'm still fishing, I'm fishing, and then I catch a, um one of the I forgot what the fish name with the stripes and stuff. I think it's a pinfish. I don't know, but I haven't been fishing a long time. But I try and jump in the water again because it's a couple of more birds coming. So at this point, the birds are then like, okay, well since we know he's scared, we gonna target him and not his mama. So then I try and do the approach of laughing like my mom did and that did not work. I'm just like, mom, like what do you have that I don't, that these birds don't wanna mess with you and they wanna mess with me. And so she's just laughing at me the whole time and I'm like crying. I'm just like done. I was like, okay. Ma, I don't wanna be here anymore. Can we please go home? So as I'm saying that, she then catches something and reels it in so she's like okay well we're gonna be out here for a few more minutes because they starting to bite now and i'm like okay so i'm just sitting in the car and this time i got the keys so i turned the car on and i put the air on and i'm sitting here chilling my mom thinks it's funny to have another key to the car and chirp the car and as she chirps the car she rolls the window down and the birds come and bother me again and I'm just like, why would you do that to somebody? Like, I'm sitting there not bothering nobody. I did my chores. Like, I, I didn't bother nobody. And you just decided that you just wanted to, like, make me miserable for no reason. So I'm just scared out of my life. And I'm just done. Like, I'm just ready to go home. So at this point, I'm then, like, on the phone. And I'm playing my game and stuff on the phone, not bothering nobody. And I'm making sure the windows are locked. So that she can't do she can't mess with the windows so it was just a horrible day of fishing for me that day and I I, I think that was the last time I went fishing um, yeah that was the last time I went fishing for a very long time and yeah I don't think I'm going fishing anytime soon because of that story and that was like two years ago I think two three years ago maybe I don't know I don't know how long that was but yeah, and so I never liked the birds after that. And when I see birds out here at my garbage can, I'm just like, okay, I'll take the trash out in the morning. Cause I'm not be, I don't want, I don't want to deal with that no more. So with that being said, let's wrap up this video. And there you go. It's just, that's the story of the time I almost died at the pier. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, Make sure you guys hit that like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on your post notifications, do all of that good stuff to help this channel grow even more than it already has. Like I said, guys, if you guys are not available on my Instagram, it will be on my channel art when you guys click on the channel and you guys will see it there. I'm doing a giveaway and I will tell you guys how to do that giveaway on my Instagram. So go follow me there and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys.